Don't you worry, we have nothing to sphere but sphere itself. Today, we are going to be doing some molecular gastronomy for food science in the Crunch Time Kitchen. Molecular gastronomy, have you heard of it, Charlotte? Uh, I don't think, I think I've heard of it, but I don't know what it means. Wonderful. What about you, Arvin? Oh, same. As a robotics engineer, well, <laughs> Nick? Oh, Alice, yeah, I just had a look before. It's the study of the physical and chemical transformations that occur while cooking with certain ingredients. And a lot of chefs actually don't like being associated with the terms. No, so. it's kind of a dirty word these days because I think it got overused a little bit with foams and mousses and things. Deconstructing gonna, things. Exactly, yeah. but we're going to do something really simple that is kind of like caviar, but it's made of fruit. So we're going to use agar agar, which is um, a, it's an algae derivative and it's going to act like a gelatin. Not so, to be confused with Ashton Agar, who played cricket for Australia. Doing different things. <laughs> not something we'd confuse, is it, Charlotte? <laughs> now, Charlotte, I'm going to get you to mix those around until they're nice and combined. And meanwhile, I've got some pure mango juice, which is going to go in here. Kind of like a nectar. And the mango juice is going to thicken up with that agar agar and create some spheres. So It's so good they awesome. named it twice. <laughs> Love it. Very good. Now, agar agar is used by chefs because it's vegan, so it's an option for people who have dietary requirements, but it also behaves quite differently to gelatin in that it's got a higher melting point. So, you can... Here we go. Do you know who wants to... I might actually stir because it's hot, but um, because when you heat agar agar, you can take it up to a higher temperature. So it's kind of got a chew in your mouth as opposed to a gelatin, which, Arvind, what happens when you put jelly in your mouth? Um, it kind of melts. It melts, exactly yeah. right. Disappears. Yeah. Now I'm whisking this in firstly to incorporate the agar agar so you don't have like a seaweedy taste, but also because it's going to thicken up. Charlotte, what's the fanciest thing you've ever tried to do in the kitchen? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I, I guess I just bake simple cakes. Simple cakes simple. are still molecular gastronomy <laughs> because you're taking it from a batter yeah. to a sponge. <laughs> what about you, Arvin? Oh, I, the only thing I really do in cooking is probably just baking cakes. I love the way that you say just baking cakes. That's a fantastic thing to do because not only is it something you can enjoy, but it's something you can share. And this is definitely something you can share because this batch is going to feed a lot of people. So this looks like it's thickening up quite nicely. Let's have a look. Probably another minute or so on this. But you want it to cool before you start spherifying. So we've actually got some that we've pre-prepared. So Charlotte, do you want to grab the pre-prepared tube um, as well as the other bottle as well? Just to show you how you would do it. So what you do is you funnel it in there with the funnel. Bef but before you do that, you've got to cool it down. So let's grab the tray as well. Why not? Making you work for it today. <laughs> <laughs> so, wonderful. That's nice and thick. You're going to see how thick and viscous it's become. That's the first process, so that's the agar. You don't want to cook it out for too long. Now, if you want the recipe, it is on our website. Ooh, there you go. So see how it's already quite thick? And as it cools, We'll move it in about a minute and you'll see that it's already a lot thicker than just that mango juice before. Now this is why I love cooking, because it's kind of like magic. You, you take something and you turn it into something else. Now we've got some oil that we've been freezing, so if you can grab that out, Nick. Have a look at this, you won't believe what's happening. <laughs> We've got a freezer. See that? <laughs> Have a look. Thick, thick, thick. Oh, thank you very much, Nick. Now, the reason we use oil is because it's got a much higher freezing point than water, of course, and it's going to double as both the mould and the fridge. So we're going to freeze the jelly as we go. Now, let's give this a good shake. There we go. Who wants to do the first sphere? Excellent. All right, Arvin. So from a height, probably about 15 centimetres, and nice and gently. That's lovely. Going this is a powerful they chicken are. laying a lot and you of eggs there. Kind of, you don't want to put them on top of each other. Yep. You want to put them Another almost quick wipe there. in a clockwise direction. And as you can see, what's happening is that, uh, well, the benefits of gravity and also the pressure from the oil around are maintaining Keep the sphere down, shape, yeah. or the spherical shape, I should say. That's lovely. Send them down as quickly as you are. That's nice. Who wants to have a go, Charlotte? Yeah. All right, yeah. let's shake it up again. Great technique there, Arvind. Have really you laid good. many eggs before in the kitchen? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great job. 
Crunchy really liked that gag. Yeah, oh. Crunchy thought it was funny. Okay. And you want to have some separation because otherwise they might stick together and you might make little barbells. So make like a clockwise or circular motion around the outside of the cup. And this is definitely something that you can try at home, but obviously with anything hot, make sure you've got a grown-up around. All right, we're ready to strain now. <laughs> now, Arvin, do you want to pour that out through yeah. the sieve? Just on top of the sieve. Great job. Nice. Oh, there, here come the eggs. Now, do you think that the... Yep. Varangian people would have eaten some mango spheres. Oh. Charlie? I'm not sure. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> All right, and now we're going to dip it in the water just to make sure that it's not too oily. And we're going to pop it out onto here. That's looking good, Nick. Lovely. And I want you to taste this and tell me honestly what you think. Check it Ooh. out, the balls! How good is that? Counts of peace. Now, I'm going to separate them out so you can see how perfectly formed these spheres are. You did that. You did that. Fantastic. Well done. I'm going to let you in my kitchen any day, shall I? Give them a taste. You have a taste too, Arvin. You worked so hard for them. Well, tastes like mango. Tastes like mango! Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Man. Yeah. Can I have this pen? <laughs> so, yes, of course you can. This is definitely something that you can try at home. Uh, and when you do, you can pop it on top of desserts, you can put it in uh, bu bubble tea of some description, but mostly you can just put it on a spoon and eat it because it's delicious. <laughs> now, we're going to finish this one off, maybe make some more, and see you right after the break. Mmm. Crunch time.